Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use these solar clocks within Metis' extended architecture. These are a great way to turn on and off exterior lighting and can really simplify and automate your system. All right, guys, the first thing that we need to do is to decide where we want to put this uh, solar clock that we're going to create. We're going to highlight the folder we've selected and we're going to go to our insert an object. We're going to insert an object in this. And from this list, we will select the solar clock. And we simply go down here, click the solar clock option, and then hit next. It's going to ask us where we want to put it. Of course, our folder is already highlighted, so once again, we just hit next. And we give this a name that we can recognize, something uh, that is related to the way that it will function. So these are the first steps in creating this object. It's very easy once you get one of these set up to use them, as you will see. This is the option screen, the configure screen, to where you can customize a few of the options in the uh, solar clock. You can actually delay the change from day to night uh, with this solar clock. Uh, you can add a description here, which we're going to do. One thing that you need to pay very close attention to is your latitude and longitude. You can get the latitude and longitude from Google for your particular location and you need to be sure that you enter it exactly. If you are off just by a little bit, this solar clock will not function correctly for your area. Once again, you can get that from Google. Just Google your location, you know, for your latitude and longitude and it will tell you that. You can, you know, enter your offset here. Like I say, if you want to delay the uh, switching of this, uh, from on to off, that's where you would enter the value here. Now, for what we're going to do here, we are going to actually just put a 30-minute uh, delay in here just for now. And it is possible to change that later once you have the uh, logic set completely up. Uh, so, once again, I can't stress the importance of making sure that you get the latitude and the longitude correct. Once you get all of that entered, you press Next. This is your summary screen, and once we have gotten to this point, everything should be correct, and we are going to press finish. Now from here, it's going to bring up this screen where you can add a trend, you can add other things as well. I would recommend that you set a trend up on this to where you can see what the system is doing. Uh, you know, that way you can see exactly when the solar clock is changing, and you can go to see from there if you need to make any adjustments one way or the other as far as that delay that we've added. Uh, you know, just give it a simple generic name, something in relation to that solar clock. Now that is the first of the two objects that we need to create. You can see down here at the bottom of this list, uh, we have our solar clock. Now the next object that we need to create is an interlock. Uh, of course, we're going to go up and insert another object, and we're going to select interlock, and then we are going to use the interlock to actually change the command point on our controller. Uh, once again, give the interlock a name that is related to the system that it is controlling. You know, that's something that's very important. That way it will help you tremendously when you come back if you have to do any kind of troubleshooting of your logic. So now that we have our interlock set up, we're going to go into the interlock and we're going to go into the interlock definitions. This is where our question is asked. We're going to hit the plus sign and we're going to drill down through our network and find the solar clock that we just created. And that is how we will link it to this interlock. You can see here, I'm going down into my controller I'm dropping down the folder. There is the solar clock that we created. I highlight it and we press OK. It's going to give us our options here. Uh, you know, you can reverse this if you need to. What we're going to do here, this is going to be uh, just exactly where we need it to be. If you wanted these to turn on something during the day, say if you had a fountain pump or some type of a display or something like that, it's just however you decide to use it. Right now, we're going to leave this on night. So if the solar clock says that it is night, the interlock will go true, and then it will do whatever we put in here. 
For the purposes of what we're doing, we are going to add the command for our exterior lights. I once again drill down through the system. I find the controller where the lights are controlled from. I go down to the point, the relay point, the output point in that controller for our exterior lighting. I highlight that. I press OK, and this version of Metasys automatically puts one in for true as well as false. Now I simply go to the true portion during when it is nighttime out. I want it to turn that command on. Now one thing I always like to do is change my command priority. That way during troubleshooting it's easier to come back through and find where your command is coming from if you set all your command priorities for interlocks the same. That is the basic principles of setting up the solar clock. Once again, once the solar clock tells us that it is night, we will then go over to the action tabs, and once it is night, it is true, it will turn on our command for the lighting. Once it goes to daytime, it will then turn the command for the lighting off. This is a very powerful and useful tool and can really help you automate your system. Guys, hope you liked the video. I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe and leave me any questions down below. Thanks for watching.